technology, or HT for short. The reason we're calling it hybrid technology is that the way this amplifier uses power and manages power is kind of similar to a hybrid vehicle. We look at like a Honda Civic Hybrid, it has a gasoline engine, it's also got an electric motor and batteries. That vehicle, depending on the situation, will do different things. If you're going in town, traffic light to traffic light, it'll run on electric power. If you get up on the highway and you're cruising at a steady speed, it'll run on the gasoline engine. You can also use the gasoline engine to recharge the batteries and keep them full so that the next time you need them, all the energy is there. You go full throttle on that car, it uses both energy sources to put the maximum amount of power to the ground. The amplifier works like that uh, in a couple of ways. It brings in 12 volts DC from your car, up converts it to 140 volts DC and then stores very large quantities of 140 volts DC and runs at 140 volts DC. So what happens is when you're playing it at low levels, it's primarily running on the 140 volt system and drawing very little current off of the 12 volt system. As you go up in power, you'll start to draw in some current off of the 12 volt system to maintain the level in the 140 volt system. If you go full throttle on this app, it's gonna run power from both systems to drive the load. So the benefit that that gives us is the fact that, like in this room here, we're trying to run 60 12-inch woofers at the same time. I'm running 60 12-inch woofers at a half of an ohm load. When you go to do that, that requires very large amounts, you know, very high amounts of quanta, uh, <laughs> very large amounts of current. Some of demo a few times. <laughs> if you're trying to pull that kind of current from a 12-volt battery that's sitting 15 feet away from this amplifier, this is a conventional amplifier, you got a 12-volt battery out there, 15 feet of cable, here's the amp. That bass drum hit, that current needs to get from that battery to those speakers. And that's very hard to do when you're trying to do high power. It's going to compress the music. When the bass hits, it's going to start out loud and it's going to compress as it goes down. It's not going to sound natural. You're not hey, going to get that kind of power out of it. Yeah. This hybrid uh, technology, the, uh, when that bass drum hits, uh, the power comes the from here. The 140 amp. volt system stored here. Yeah. At a more convenient time, uh, you can bring know. the current in off of the 12 volt system and recharge I'll call you in like during the minutes. quiet times. Alright. So what that gives us is huge dynamic power, improved sound quality, in fact, if you look at the specs for signal noise and THD damping factor, you'll see the sound quality or those specifications on this amp rival that of very large expensive home amplifiers. The reason is, if we had an audiophile guy in here, a home audiophile guy, and you said, what was your dream amplifier for your house, what would you do? He'd say, I have a very big amp, I'd get a bunch of batteries, I'd hook them up to a charger until they were full, and I'd take the charger off, and then I'd sit there and listen to it on clean battery power. It's going to be as clean as possible. The amp is similar to that. In fact, that that 140 volt system is charged to a very high level and maintained very constant. Those numbers are very good. The biggest thing it does for us is that it reduces the peak current draw from the vehicle by about 500 percent, or about five times less current. If you take our punch 200 watt amp that's sitting out there, that amplifier draws about 30 amps of current maximum. If it had the hybrid technology in it, it would draw about six. So to demonstrate the technology, we built this very large, powerful amplifier to prove it. This amplifier is a four-channel, class AB, full-range, audiophile kind of an amplifier. It's producing about 17,000 watts RMS. If you wanted to produce 17,000 watts RMS off of 12 volts, you would need 2,000 amps of current and a power cable about this big around and a huge stack of batteries. I don't have any of in here. Nobody has that in their car. With hybrid technology, this amplifier draws a maximum of 350 amps of current by taking advantage of those dynamics in music where it can charge, discharge, and bring it back in. So I'm going to play it for you because I want you to hear how dynamic it is. And I'm going to play something else for you so you can hear how much power it has. The four-channel amplifier, half of the amp, driving all six of these woofers at a half of an hour. The other half is just kind of idling along running these six by nines up here. I'm going to play it for you. 